Hello everyone. Welcome to Power Electronics lecture series. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the difference between power MOSFET and IGBT. The link for the material is provided in the description. You can download it for your reference. So let's get started. We've seen the characteristics of power MOSFET and IGBT separately. Over here, we will see the main differences between them. In power MOSFET, the on-state voltage drop will be more, whereas in IGBT, it is comparatively lesser. So we need to understand the reason behind this, isn't it? When the power MOSFET is conducting, more will be the electron mobility, isn't it? So as the electron mobility is increasing, consequently, the temperature will also increase. Since power MOSFET is a positive temperature coefficient device, as the temperature is increasing, the resistance also will be increasing, isn't it? Because of this, more will be the on-state voltage drop. So the voltage drop also will be higher. Whereas in IGBT, the voltage drop will be lesser in comparison with a power MOSFET because it has some characteristics of power BJT. Remember this point. And that is why the voltage on-state voltage drop is comparatively lesser with respect to a power MOSFET. I hope this point is clear. Now, in power MOSFET, it is suitable for higher switching frequency. When we say what is the frequency range it is suitable for, it is up to 100 kilohertz. Whereas IGBT is suitable for higher switching frequency, but when you compare it with power MOSFET, the switching frequency will be very, very low. And the range of this is typically 20 kilohertz. So we will be referring it as it is suitable for comparatively lower switching frequency. The reason why it is used for lower switching frequency because you have some of the properties with power BJT, isn't it? IGBT has some characteristics of power BJT as well. And that is why since BJT is used for low frequency application, it is also comparatively used for lower frequency applications. The next important point is the voltage and current rating of but MOSFET over here is one kilovolt slash 50 amperes. So this is very, very important point. So please make a note of it. It is used for a voltage rating of up to one kilovolt and 50 amperes. Whereas the voltage and current rating of an IGBT is 1.5 kilovolt to 400 amperes. What does this mean? It is used for much higher voltage rating and much higher current rating. So this is one of the most important points that you have to make a note of. The blocking voltage capacity is comparatively lesser in power MOSFET, whereas the blocking voltage capacity is slightly higher in IGBT. Now, one of the most important things that you have to observe here is power MOSFETs are not suitable for extremely high temperatures. The reason is because the maximum current rating will go down by one third of the overall current rating that is defined. So if you carefully observe, if you're setting uh, the power MOSFET to operate at 50 amperes, the current rating will drastically be reduced 50 by three times for the maximum temperature that it has reached. So care has to be taken that it should not be operated at very high temperatures. Whereas in case of IGBT, it is suitable for high temperatures and preferably it is used for high temperature applications. One of the most important points is the cost for a power MOSFET is comparatively cheaper with respect to IGBT. So it's quite obvious, isn't it? When IGBT can operate at higher voltage and current ratings, you will obviously uh, expect the cost to be much higher. So these are some of the major differences with respect to power MOSFET and IGBT. I hope you were able to understand this video. In case you have any feedbacks, please do let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. Please do keep supporting. Thank you.